Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today is going to be a wash day. Very well needed, highly needed. <laughs> and so, as you can tell, my hair is looking really crazy, brittle, dry, nappy, I'm nasty. And yes, I can't say nappy, I do have 4C hair. <laughs> First step is to pre-poo. I absolutely love to pre-poo, especially for my hair. It just makes the wash days so much easier, so less detangling and all of that. And if you didn't know, uh, aloe vera does have lots of benefits for your hair. So that includes hair growth, prevents itching, dandruff, and conditions your hair. So it just works so good for me. So if you haven't tried, I highly suggest you do. And you can buy the aloe vera plant at like a supermarket. I just got mine right next door. And you just cut it up in chunks and then you split up the chunks so you can get that juicy stuff, you know? But if you guys also want a detailed video on how I pre-poo, I can also do that. Just let me know. Okay, so I can't lie, it is the next day. I did sleep with my pre-poo, but your girl be tired and honestly, it never damages my hair or anything. So I'm hoping <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, it is the next day. Now we're shampooing. I do shampoo my hair twice. And as you can tell, I do leave it in the braids just so it doesn't get tangled. Cause girl, it will get tangled if I do not. And I love using this head brush, scalper, massager, exfoliator, whatever you want to call it. I will link it below for you in my description box. But it is the best things you can use, okay? Like, you'll really get your hair clean, you're massaging your scalp, stimulating hair growth, all that good, good. And so, yeah, get you one. Shout out to my best friend, by the way. <laughs> So now it is time to condition our hair. This is where I take out my braids and focus on detangling. And I do this all with my hands. <laughs> I don't use a brush. I prefer using my hands because it is so much more gentle for me. And I am so, so, so tender-headed. So I just prefer finger detangling. Also, I noticed that I get less shedding when I do it this way as well. Obviously, it is more time consuming, but trust me, it is worth it.
So now that our hair is clean, we're going to use a mask. This is one of my favorite masks, like y'all, the whole tub is empty now. <laughs> and so what I really love about it is one, the smell and how it works so well for my hair. It is like a cocoa and mango butter infused with some algae or algae. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> but yeah, just look at those curls, girl. Like, it looks so good. It just does wonders for my hair. So, you know, in case Miss Camille Rose is watching this video, I love your products. <laughs> and so then we'll just leave this on for about an hour or two while, you know, do some errands or do your thing. And I look so good with this cap on because it looks like it's inspired by Spongebob, you know? So we are finally on to the last step and this is, as you know, lock method or LCO method. They're pretty much the same thing, but I like LCO because I just find that it works so much better for my hair. And so, yeah. I don't know how to braid, so I do kind of mini braids in my head, and I will have all the products also in the description box, and that is pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, it takes a while, so I always watch a TV show or a movie, and it just helps with the time to go by because, girl, your arms will be hurting and all of that. I think everything takes me about two hours yeah <laughs> and so that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one